Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Turn his hands than out in the open.
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Whoa oh, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. <laughs> Oh wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. <clears throat> I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? I lie. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Oh, 
that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Guys up there just hit stronger. <laughs> when he froze the guys, the pressure must have changed for the ones around him. Hmm? Maybe there's a vent. <laughs> of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir. Father, uh, up there. There. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <gasps> Look, it's a 
chain we can pull up there. Uncover that guy's a yeah. the rope holding the block. Try hitting the rope holding the block. like to fight back in the day just for the history obviously history <laughs> let's hope tears in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long not all of odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself we have no proof tear is truly here right earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and 
smell here are worse because of Fumble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be on to something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. <laughs> Welcome to Nida, uh, us. <gasps> hey, tour! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only send an alarm like that if I still had my body. I was fearing the notion of being detached from it. I have that for us, though. They are sending it. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk Do to you for a please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Poor fear. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing this. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Action! Ah! Whew! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. I expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Why are these things so bad? Thank you, Watcher! like I've ever been to a filthy tavern. The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open Atreus, up... Atreus, this way. Best of luck. It seems like me, the Valir, is locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. <laughs> Why hide? 
Resist is a good example. Fear keeps them safe. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. You may be. No! Thank you. Wow, she wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here. Maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well. If you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. 
Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? So, we're going to Derlin's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. For Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> hey, you collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <clears throat> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Rest of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the ace here. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. A fine hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name, and uh, yeah, yeah, for fucking up my desk. A fine. Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office.
Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. <laughs> Okay, as I was saying, someone wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to be to remind me on that mountain. Ah, Tyr! Erlen helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that... Heimdall. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darlene! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Durlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. We 
Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. You can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. <laughs> 